Well, there must be something else going on in the area because they arrested the woman an hour ago. They cleared the crime scene down on 13th and Collins a half hour ago. The streets reopened to traffic now. They're still working in the building, but the, they reopened the street. And they've taken all that tape down. The only tape on 13th Street is around the building itself. And yet, the helicopter is still hovering. I wonder why. There must be something else going on. Okay, now he's turning and he's starting to leave, it looks like. Yeah. There he goes. Why he had to sit here for a half hour after everything was cleared is beyond me. But he's leaving now. Now, this is the ambulance that was in 13th Street that didn't get used. And apparently when he took off, they came over here and he's sitting there blocking the bike lane and most of the crosswalk. And the fact that he's got the laptop out looks like. This is uh, rescue ambulance number 22. Well, they had the computer, the laptop out. I don't know if he was doing his report sitting down in La Farolada steakhouse here, or whether he uh, actually had a call there and didn't have to transport somebody. I'm guessing they were just doing the paperwork from the, from what happened on 13th. But anyway, thank God this is over. Now I can eat. They're not giving me a chance to eat. I sat down and I didn't even start eating yet. And there's a fender bender up here at the corner. So, well, it's pretty obvious what happened here. The car behind was making a left turn out of 13th Street into Washington. And the car, the red car in the front here was going straight up Washington. And this guy tried to make his left turn in front of him. Now, one of them had a red light. Ah, uh, no. Now I can see what happened as I get up closer. This car was making a U-turn. He was not coming out of 13th Street. He was making a U-turn on Washington. And this car was northbound. This guy was southbound, tried to U it around and ran into the northbound car.
When will they learn how to drive? One thing about Miami Beach, you can be sure nobody obeys the traffic laws. Looks like the one with this hood up got a busted radiator. As you can see, all the water leaking out underneath. Okay, now I got it from a witness. The light had turned red. Both of them essentially ran red lights. This guy was waiting to make the left turn to make the U. The light went yellow, and when it went red, and all the traffic that had entered before it went red had cleared the intersection, he started making his U-turn. The red car was coming north on Washington and went right through the red light like it wasn't even there. And hit him as he was turning. So if the cops come, they'll both get tickets. Well, I don't think anyone's called the police on this. Because I haven't seen any. And it's pretty minor. Nobody's injured. So I'm leaving. Okay, so I come over here and I don't even sit down to eat it. And all of a sudden there's some police action over here at Pizza Fury. Eight officers, so a multi agency task force, according to the shirts. Don't know what they're doing or why they're here. In the meantime, those guys are still up there with the fender bender. These guys are ignoring the accident, so they're doing something else over here. This has been one crazy afternoon. The following day, Channel 10 published an article on Mindy Stabbing. And between that and talking to cops off the record, I was able to find out exactly what happened. This is the caption from the photo. Here's the photo. Here's the article itself. Until I saw this article, I didn't realize the victim was a female. I was under the impression it was a male. And nobody had mentioned the sex of the victim at the time. Apparently, the woman who was speaking with the police that had been in the park had gotten some still shots, which she sent to Channel 10. They published one before one during and one after the stabbing. And when I saw the photograph, I realized, hey, I walked right by that woman just as I approached the crime scene, apparently right after she had stashed the scissors. As I was going south on Collins, she passed me going north. The reason the helicopter stayed up there so long was because the police had been told by witnesses that there was another man with Miss Bradley. So they set up a perimeter to try and catch him, thinking he was an accomplice. Then they caught him and he told them that she had been harassing him, just like she had been harassing everyone else. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. This is Miami Beach Audits. I'm out.
I'll see you on the next one.